Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, um, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I got for my birthday because I'm 30 now by the way, yay! Welcome to old age. Um, I am doing a haul, birthday haul video. This is the stuff that I got from America. Um, some of it uh, was to my mall box and some of it was direct and I figured I'd split up my birthday like haul um, into two ones because I've got like I got really spoiled and um, so I figured I'd do America one and then I'd do the rest of it Um if you can hear snoring it's my darling dog she's right at the side of me snoring away and I feel awful kicking her out so if you do hear that roll with it that's life um oops sorry itchy eyeball and yeah let us crack on with this now I do have to do a quick FYI I bought a lot of highlighters, yes I know, like how many highlighters do you need? I have got more highlighters in my like birthday haul, right, than a beauty counter. Like I could light the UK with the glow that I'm hoarding in my cupboard, seriously. I, I have got an obsession with highlighters and eyeshadow palettes, that seems to be my main thing and lipsticks as well I'd say, but yeah at the moment it's, it's, I'm on a highlight kick. So I do want to FYI that if you think to yourself, Becky, seriously, girl. And the thing is, I use a shitload of it and you can never see it on my face. So, you know, I don't know about all these YouTubers that have this like amazing glow and like you can see in space and everything because, girl, I do not know what they're doing. Anyway, I'm procrastinating. I am really, really tired. It's like so late. So I'm now, I'm going to get on with it. So let me just crack on. The first thing that I got, I'm just going to get it because it's the one thing, is I got a blush palette from Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I think they're amazing. I am actually collecting them all. Um, I've ordered what, um, two that are at my mailbox now that I got like after I'd already shipped this over because I weren't going to buy any more, but then, you know, life happened. Um, so when they, I saw that they had the blush palette on sale, I was like, you know what, I need to do it. So the only problem is, is... This is the lighter one. They have two. They had one. I don't actually think they're specifically for like ones for lighter skin tones, ones for darker skin tones, but the colours were different. So I I took this to be more for the um, light to medium skin tone, but now I've got it. It is quite like medium skin tones. I think it looked absolutely fantastic. I don't know if it's going to be too much. This colour will like, be perfect. I love this pink. Um, even this orange can get away with, but this I'd have to like use a really like, light hand if I did want to use it. This would be more like a bronzery type shade on me. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a rosy goldy type highlight and then this is very similar to NARS Orgasm um, in that shift. You can see that, um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. And like, oh, seriously, the pigmentation on these are unreal. Um, I mean, that one there, that was like only a little tiny swipe, and you've got that there. The other one is beautiful. It's like a rose gold, but like more gold. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe rose gold, but like more gold. Um, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to give it a test um, to see how I like it. Because the eyeshadows are brilliant, um, and see how it fares on my face. Um, but yeah, I had to get that when I saw it because it is amazing. So yeah, that was that. Um, I got some bits from Colourpop as well. I got one of the, I think it's a satin, I hope it is. Yeah. Oh no, it's an ultra metallic lip. Shit, I've heard these are crap. Um, I don't know why I ordered this colour though. It's called Sandwich sandwich sand wishes um it's just a pink color but i've actually got a pink metallic like this so i don't know why i ordered this color um i must have been having a moment there but yeah i've ordered that um so yeah try that out i also ordered this little mini set it's called the short and sweet mixed mini mixed finish lip collection and you get two ultra satins two matte and one glossy now i am not a fan of the color pop uh, mattes but I have heard the formulas change so that's why I did go for this because I wanted to try one of the glosses and I want and I like the satin ones anyway so you've got ultra satin in love muffin which is a nude oh that is gorgeous sugar lips in the gloss and it's like a rose gold like glittery shimmer you've got ultra satin in schnookums which is a 
Pinky Nude, you've got Pookie Bear, which is an ultra matte, which is like a peach, and you've got Honey Pie, which is like a pinky red, which is an ultra matte as well. I also got one, it's called the Belle of the Ball Pressed eyeshadow palette set and it comes in this little it has like a sleeve so it looks like that and then it comes in this little set and in the set you just get four eyeshadows now these are all pinks so you've got like obviously variations of pinks and then you've got a shimmer one at the end so three mattes and a shimmer one at the end i just thought it was really nice and i don't have many pink shadows in my collection like this and i wanted like so i can do my gradient you know like the transition the crease and the definer i wanted to like make that a nicer um, gradient effect so i figured they'd be nice to try i do have some other color pop um single shadows there in my z palette i will put these in the z palette as well because it's just too bulky but i just fi figured for the sake of this video i'll show it like that the colors are secret soft core fair play and on the fence if, if you did decide you want to do that but i imagine if you look online they've got um they love the names on it anyway and incidentally they are launching a i think it's a 12 pan palette um, which i am going to get it's quite neutral but i do like the look of it and i have to have it um the next thing i got is one of their duos this is called done deal and it's a blush and highlight um, above and beyond blush and make me do it highlight um, i just wanted to see what the blushes were like to be honest um the highlight is more like a peachy gold colour um not really my colour I go for but it's actually got more pink in it it's more on the peachy side than actually uh, gold so I actually do like that and I love this blush just a soft pink blush um it's just right up my tree and yeah I just thought it was really pretty and like I said I just wanted to try it I don't think I can depot that I don't think they come out no they don't um so I'd have to keep that in the set but that's nice anyway it's nice sturdy packaging to say it's so affordable obviously we're getting in the UK isn't as um like affordable as in America but it's still because I still use my mall box because it's cheaper in shipping for me the next one that I ordered from I'm really excited about I did get this a while ago um, and I sort of teased about it but it is actually for my birthday is I ordered loads of wet and wild stuff now one of the things I did order um, and I've got it in this packaging is a pressed powder compact and it's all cracked it arrived broken so I might try and fix it or I might just get rid because it was three dollars so you can imagine that, you know how much that's cost me. Um, I ordered two lip liners um, from Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild Vials there because I love my lip liners. Um, I got one in red and one in like a maroony shade, would you say that is? Um, what are they actually called though? And the gel lip liners as well. So I thought, oh, these have got more chances like sticking, sticking, staying on the lip. Um, dog's still snoring by the way. Uh, red to the scene and gone burgundy. So yeah, burgundy shade and a red shade and I just thought um, they'd be nice to try basically. Um, seems though I've never really tried the brand so I figured why not. The only thing I'm really gutted about, I didn't buy any eyeshadow. Why didn't I buy any eyeshadow? Um, I got two of the liquid lipsticks so I figured they'd be good because I'm going to restart my testing liquid lipstick series now I'm getting back into filming. Um, and I got Berry Recognise and Missy and Face and ironically enough they go with the lip liners, so one's like a purpley shade and one's like, one is like red, one is red. Um, so yeah, thought they were nice. Um, I also got one of the um, felt tip eyeliners, Jesus, what is going on with me today? Um, I got the skinny one because I figured if the tip is really good it might like help me with my eyeliner, who knows. Um, so yeah, I got one of those. I do like the felt tip ones so I figured I would try it and I think it was only a couple of dollars as well so I thought why not. I keep saying why not and I'm really sorry. Um, I got, here's the start of my highlighter phase. I got one of the um, Mega Glow highlighting powders. They were all over um, Instagram. Let me just open it up. You see, I didn't even, I haven't even swatched anything. There we are. Um, so it's the ones that look like that, that have got like the embossed detailing of a flower. Um, I got, what colour are you? Hmm. Oh, Precious Petals it's called. It is actually just a gold one. I don't know if they did do another shade and I missed it, but for some reason I picked gold, which I'm really surprised at because I don't usually like gold highlighters. Um, but it's absolutely stunning. It's um, just... Don't be able to, oh, 
it's a really pretty highlighter. I can't really say anything because I've never tried it on my face. Finally, I got one of the, um, my God, I cannot speak today. Um, and then finally from Wet n Wild, I got one of the um, Photo Focus foundation um, that was like really like popular a few months back. Um, it's the one that's like, they tested it under seven light conditions and it doesn't have any flashback and all that good stuff. I got it in porcelain because um, I figured if it's a bit too light for me, I can just overly bronze. Anyway, I ordered some things from um, Dose of Colours, again highlighters and they're just amazing now dose of colors are on beauty bay and for a few months you could get the makeup as well because i got the ice cream no what was the was it called the ice cream palette yeah the ice cream palette um and i got a few of the liquid lipsticks and then all of a sudden it became that you couldn't go on it anymore so um because I was ordering stuff for my birthday, I figured why not go on Dose of Colours and I got a coupon. Because um, if you sign up for most of if you sign up for like these sites and get sign up to the newsletter and then wait a bit, you generally get like a welcome, here's 10% off or um, like later on they'll do like a sale and it's always better to wait because like basically everything I got a discount on. Um, I can't actually remember what the discount is, but it's up to like, it's between 10 and 20% off, so it's always worth it. Um, so yeah, I decided to get some stuff off Dose of Colours. I got it sent to my mailbox again, so it was cheaper in shipping and then cheaper in me shipping it over here. Um, I ordered two of their liquid lipsticks and I got it in stone. Um, I just really liked the fact that it was a, um, a muted pink, basically. Um, and I... I've got Truffle by uh, Dose of Colours and I really like it, it's a really lovely colour so I figured Stone was a nice one to get and I also got um, Los Angeles, like Los Angeles but it's on Angeles and it's like a burnt ready colour, it's a really odd, it's red but it's not, it's like I say it's like a burnt red, um, it's the only way I can describe it but it's absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to try that one. Um, I got one of the eyeshadow palettes that I've just come out with. This is called Marvelous Mauves. They do have one that's all brown as well. I can't remember what it's called though. Um, oh, it might be. It's got, it might be called Brownie Bronze or something stupid like that. Anyway, I didn't fancy the browns. Obviously, that's why I ordered these ones. Um, comes in beautiful packaging. It has got like a sticky over the front, and I don't want to take it off. So please forgive me. Um, you do get a little mirror. And you do get a little brush. It is actually quite a nice little brush as well as a little pencil side and then this fluffy side. Um, and then these are what the shadows look like. They have got embossed detailing on. Um, I love this. It's obviously a variation of pinky purpley shades. Mauves, obviously. Um, and again, you've got the like light to dark and then you can just make a nice eye with it. So I'm excited to use that. So if you would like to see a tutorial with this, do let me know. I'm so sorry how odd I'm being. Um, I also bought three highlighters. Why not? Um, I got one of the baked highlighters. This is in pearl dust. It's pink. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, just look at that marble in detail. And it is like the best like frosted pink shade ever. Like it is stunning. If I could get it to show my bloody face, you'd love it. Yeah, but yeah, really, really happy with that. And I got two of the new ones that have just come out called Supreme Glow Highlighters. I got, what colours did I get? All right, Dream On and Ice You Baby. Now, I, Dream On is the pinky one. If I open it, um, it's got, again, it's got nice detailing and it just looks like that. And it's just the, it's just basically icy pink. You can tell I have a thing for pink. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, and I can't wait to try it on my face, not that it shows up and I'm saying it again, you can tell I'm very bitter, I'm very bitter. Um, and then Ice You Baby, I think is going to be the same as the Jeffree Star um, Ice Cold. I've just got a feeling it's that more, oh no it's on the more gold side to Jeffree's. It's like a really like white gold I'd say, it's more gold than white. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty. I don't know if I'll keep this one just because, like I say, I'm not really a fan of gold highlighters. I don't know why. I just tend to gravitate more towards 
the pinky ones although the one that I am wearing on my face today is an Urban Decay one and that was like a gold one so maybe I'm changing there was a time when I never bought a, bought a warm little there was a time when I never buy a warm eyeshadow palette and now that's all I seem to buy so clearly I'm growing up uh, when you get to 30 apparently your taste change um, finally for my fro fro finally for my mall box um, I ordered three no wait I ordered more than that I ordered four things from Milk Cosmetics. I ordered one of the lipsticks, um, just because I wanted to try them, I've heard good things. The only thing I'm gutted about, I got the colour Old Rose, and it looked like a pinky colour, but when it's arrived, it's like a nude, like a brown nude. And I don't know, I'm just really disappointed, because I really like Old Rose, you think, um, like, muted pink, or some sort of, like, pinky colour I don't know I just really expected it not to be brown basically um and that's what it is so I may I might try it or I might just sell it I don't know I might try it just to see what the formula's like but yeah I was a bit gutted about the colour it was misleading um I ordered one of their highlighters called Stargazer now when I ordered this I thought this is the lightest one and I was really surprised at the shade it is more like a rose goldy type um shade and it just looks like that I don't know if my camera's focusing enough for you to see the detail but seriously the embossed detail is absolutely stunning um I I'm gonna keep this just because I'm gonna keep it anyway because it's just like it's so so pretty uh, but yeah like I say it's more I'd say like a, it's more like a rose gold I'd say it's on par with champagne pop um which is ironically enough I'm actually selling mine because I'm not a fan of the colour so and then I go and get this but like I said I am keeping it because I do like the detailing I don't even want to swatch it but I'm gonna do anyway um yeah it is more like champagne pop uh might be a bit tad more gold than champagne pop but yeah it is absolutely stunning it is a baked one i think it's baked i don't say but it looks like it's a baked one it looks like um that kind of you know like laura mercier um the Laura Mercier ones that look like the silk bed sheet. Anyway, I got that anyway. And then I bought two of the Starks. I'm like so excited for these. I got um, Lovesick and the Dark Matter Stark. These are so cool. Um, obviously, if you've seen them, you know that they're all magnetic and they all connect together. Uh, your top one's a little mirror. Um, so on the Dark Matter one, you have got um, like... It's like a soft brown transition shade. It's my perfect colour. You've got a deeper, like a toffee brown, um, like a reddy colour. And then you've got black, which to be fair, that's like my ideal um, colour combination just to do like a basic eye um, and deepening it up. And then on the lovesick one, you have got... Oh, you get like a free sticker apparently with lips kissing um again you've got the little mirror but you get this gorgeous purple shade you get a gray i'm really intrigued about that you get a orange like shimmery shade and then you get a red um so again really really excited for those but what i love about these is i'm gonna like put them together well i'm gonna keep them separate but i can use them like as one thing because you've got the transition shades you've got the pop of color that i like and i just think it'll be absolutely awesome um so yeah that is everything that i got using my mall box um you'll be pleased to know um i did order a few uh, i think i did order some things from lime crime and from tart cosmetics um these are just what came separately so from lime crime basically lime crime i just have to show you the box i just think it's pretty but they had like a massive sale on so all these um all these individual lipsticks that i got were five dollars and the set was ten um so i basically i got the true love set or cupid true love and saint um actually i think that's more is it brown yeah, it reminds me of like a browner version of androgyny. Um, so nothing like androgyny then, seeing as that's more purple. And then you've got this gorgeous pinky colour, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to keep that one, that's Cupid. And then you've got True Love, which is like, it's like a bright 
pink red but oh really really odd colour but really really love it um so i think the only one i won't keep on that is that more brownie one which is saint um just because it's not really my colour i don't do the whole 90s lip um she says whilst wearing a brown lipstick mm. but to be fair this is like a pinky brown um, i then ordered polly thistle squash and dream girl um, Dream Girl is a dark burgundy um, shade. It's really funny how it's summertime in the UK and I'm buying all the winter colours. Uh, but I just thought it was really pretty. Polly is a really, really pretty. It's 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 a blue toned pink, but it's like so like muted. It's like a more of a mauvey pink. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I can't wait to try that colour. I think it's going to look gorgeous on. And squash and thistle are my crazy colors thistle is a blue gray absolutely bloody stunning but the main reason i bought it as random as this sign is for eyeliner um i just think it'll make it an absolutely fantastic eyeliner and for five dollars which like worked out like what four quid with the exchange rate um i didn't see the big deal out of it and then squash is basically orange it's basically like it's more like a muted orange but yeah absolutely gorgeous again i thought it'd make a really good eyeliner um and also really good for ombre lips um like popping it in the middle i think that'll be a good contrast so yeah they're the things that i got from lime crime not that i need any more lipsticks but i did it anyway and finally i really i've sort of left with a little bit i should have just like i should have ended it on the melt cosmetic stacks really but yolo um i ordered from tart i have to show you this because i love the box and wait till you see the paper it came wrapped in the well. unicorns you're probably wondering why it's all folded up it's because i'm keeping it um but i just wanted to show you let me show you the right side though right look at that Look at it, unicorns. I mean, tart, know where it's at, people. Um, and I love this. Dream big, sparkle more, shine bright. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh. Um, so I did sort of sneak peek this on my vlog channel um, a few weeks ago, but I thought I'd show you on here because I did actually buy it for my birthday. Um, they had... I think it was free shipping, free international shipping. Um, so I got like, basically this all was in like in the sale um, and I had a coupon as well. Um, so the main thing that I bought, um, I got, I wanted the discount on this and luckily I did get it because normally for things like this you don't get it. Um, and then I got a few other things that were sort of in the sale that I wanted to try and because I had free shipping as well I think I paid like seven quid in customs because you can pay at checkout on Tart. So I was like, so excited um, so the first thing I got is this um, highlighter and bronzer little duo and don't be fooled by the big box it's only teeny tiny but the thing that I loved most about it I mean this um, highlighter is absolutely gorgeous again it is more goldy than I thought it was gonna be but seriously it is so stunning um, it's more like a yellow gold than a um, gold gold <laughs> um and then i got a bronzer in hotel he hotel heiress and it comes in like a mini version like of the little pack um it does look a tad bit oh if i can't get if i can get this little thing off bear with, bear with. it does look a tad warm but i figured if i use a light hand and maybe use a dual fiber brush i can get away with it on my pasty face um but i was just i just i just think this too um, so I needed to get those, obviously, totes. Um, and I think they were in the sale and I think I paid like a tenner for them. And then I got a discount on top of that. So um, I also got one of the um, liners. Now it comes in this huge box. And I thought to myself, why is it in such a big box? Is it like a massive liner? But it's not, it's just wasted space. So I don't know why they've put it in such massive packaging, but they have. But I got mint. You're probably thinking, oh, Becky, why did you get mint? And I don't know. Um, but it's like the most amazing colour in the world. It just looks like that. And obviously it's an eyeliner. I think it'll be an amazing eyeliner as we're coming into like uh, more summer. Um, I know pastels are not quite as 
prominent as they were in the spring but um hint hint i did get the pastel goth palette um and i just think this will be absolutely amazing um i could either do a contrasting eye where i have like say like something like i'm wearing now but then this on the top or like a dark green eye with this going on the length or this as the wing um or i could use this as a base and just have this as the color just to make it pop i don't know the world is my oyster i really just wanted to try the tart liners and the packaging is tricky uh, but like I say, I do not know why they give you so much pack uh, so much box because you don't get anything extra. I did check, um, but yeah, they just give you so much box just to make you look important, and then you've got this tiny little pot at the end of it. Um, because I ordered some stuff, I did get a free Tarts camera lashes mascara. Uh, well, it weren't free; it was twenty five cent um, to add it to your cart. Um, this mascara is the shit. So if you've never tried it, try it and thank me later. The brush is amazing. And speaking of the Tarte Camera Lashes mascara, I got a big one. Now you probably think to yourself, Becky, why are you getting excited over getting a big mascara? People, let me show you why I'm excited over this big mascara. Ta da! OMG, look at that packaging. Um, they brought it out as like a limited edition one with the mermaid packaging. I think it was, was it for the mermaid? Was it Mermaids Under the Sea or something? Anyway, they did like a collection that was like mermaid focused um, and oh, legit, I am obsessed with this packaging. Even when this runs out, I'm keeping it because it's just so pretty. Um, it's just amazing. Like I say, the mascara is absolutely fantastic as well. So when I saw that they, were, um, they did it in this, I needed to have it. The first time I tried to get it, it sold out really quickly. So... Um, this is another tip as well. If you ever want to buy anything off Tarte, register your details, put everything in your basket, get to the checkout, but then don't buy anything and just go off the site. And then in a few days, you'll get an email saying you've left some things in your cart. Um, and then ignore it again. Then you'll get another email saying, oh, here's a discount code if you come back to us. I think they start off, I don't know if it's 10% and then it grows to, goes from there off, they give you 15 straight away. But basically, I ignored it that long that I ended up with a 20% off coupon. Now, granted, these coupons don't work on anything. Like, if you want the Shape Tape concealer, it does not take anything off that. But it took it off this mascara and all this that I had in my basket. So I saved 20% on the whole thing as well as getting free shipping. So, yes, I am quite a frivolous person, no, quite a, uh, what's it, frugal person when I'm buying all this makeup. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I got from the big US of A. Um, as you can see, I got like a shit ton of stuff. I have got a lot of highlighters, <laughs> just so many highlighters. Um, and yeah, I was truly, truly spoiled. I mean, wait till you see the stuff, the rest of the stuff that I've got, you will like, die um it is uber 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 frivolous i saved up i got given money off my parents and yeah it was i saved up and got money off my parents with the pervert thing with the like knowledge that i was going to spend like a kardashian okay maybe not like a kardashian but in my head i was a kardashian especially when i went to the trafford center although i forgot to actually go browsing and just end up spending loads of urban decay but that's another story um so yeah, it's all in good fun and I don't smoke or drink or anything so I didn't feel like, what, 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 what's the big deal? And it was my birthday, I am 30 now and I needed to commiserate with lots of makeup and shiny things. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you have got this far in the video, kudos to you. Um, do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of my goodies down below, my purchases by the way, nothing else. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.